Hello, everybody. Good evening. This is Connie Conception Vito, um, and I am back for another live um, Q and A live with two power a uh, power couple from Canada who has been in the business for a while now, and has been my inspiration since becoming a digital business owner. I'm not gonna be. Um, taking much more of your time. I'm so excited to bring them over so we can start the interview. And wherever you guys are watching, feel free to comment and tell us where you're watching from. Say hi to um, Dave and Roxano Bezo. Hi. Hi, Conception. <laughs> hi, everyone. Thanks for having us here. It's always a pleasure to do this. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. You just don't know how happy you made me when you said yes. When I first initially asked you, can I have you as guests to be interviewed live? So I'm like, oh, my goodness. She said <laughs> yes. She said yes. I had to announce to my team right away. Roxanne said yes. I just didn't know whether Dave was coming with her, but, like, I'm I'm cool. Plus one or not, I'm, I'm cool with that. Thank you. thank you. All right. So you guys had been in the business how long now? Uh, since October 2018, so over two years now. Yeah. Over two years. All right, great. So I'm going to start with the first question, if you don't mind, and I'm going to pop the first question right up there. All right. So I didn't do much introduction with the with you, but I want you to feel free to please tell us more about who Dave and Roxana Biso were before becoming digital business owners. Yeah, I know. Good question. Um I came to Canada in '96. I uh, I came from the Philippines. Um, I was about 14, 15 years old, and my initial background was uh, I was an aeronautical engineer. Now, it sounds fancy, but uh, out of all the engineering, that's the lowest paid. <laughs> um, but um, but I it, I found out very quickly that it wasn't for me because I didn't really you know I wasn't a fit because I didn't like what I was doing. So I, I went outside of it into political faith. I went into my first business, which is financial services. And that's where I met Roxanne. Um, I was her manager, and I uh, managed her really well because I married her. <laughs> and then, um, Good choice. Yes. So prior to the online business, I was a uh, I was a general manager, and now I do this full time. Yeah. So for for me, um, my background, I came to Canada from the Philippines as well with my parents and siblings um, in two thousand four, and um, I, you know, um, I went to school for paralegal, and I worked in finance prior to this online business, and um, and basically, I've 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 seen my parents work so hard. Um, you know, coming here, they gave up their their careers, their house, uh, their beautiful life in the Philippines, yeah. just to give up, to sacrifice for us. So I had this dream that I wanted to help out uh, when they retire. So um, when I get married with Dave, I told him that you know I wanted to help my parents financially when they retire. And good thing he said yes. So <laughs> you know we've been trying to um, do something you know on the side on top of our jobs because we realized soon that even though we have high paying job or good great careers it's not enough it's just mm -hmm. enough for the two of us and our future kids so you know um two years ago we're grateful that finally we bumped into this online business he found this um an ad in in, in facebook so here we are <laughs> so it was dave who first found the ad and got yeah you both into the business. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. Wow. Well, I I think I second to that, that um, even if we do have like a good career, I mean, even here in the US, I'm a full-time registered nurse, actually mm -hmm. just came out of work, trying to make sure I'm not gonna be late for this interview. <laughs> so I'm still working full-time, but then again, um, I cannot say despite the good, I mean, my job has been good to me. Yeah. I can't, I can't complain. Yeah. Um, and uh, despite that, my family is growing. My daughter is soon to be going to college. So that's mm -hmm. my biggest why, why I had to find another extra source of income. Mm -hmm. um, let alone, I also had been helping family back home in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But thank you for sharing that. So next mm -hmm. question, I'm going to bring you the next question is, what were your challenges in the business since you started and how did you manage to win over these challenges i know it's not always sunshine and rainbows so people don't get be mistaken when you start mm -hmm. doing an online business it's not all sunshine and rainbows so here's a real life testimony from dave and roxanne so despite their successes can you share us what were your challenges yeah, in you know it's a, it's a very good question and i i always talk about this on my coaching call and i tell people right 
um, you know, business, uh, online business is a bit, I would say a bit challenging, a bit more challenging than a job and, um, and, uh, and, 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 and school because we all grew up in the industrial world and industrial age, I mean, and there's always structure. And this is the, uh -huh. the biggest challenge because, you know, I don't know if you remember school, if you didn't show up to school, you didn't submit your marks, what happens? You, you fail, you don't get your grades up. That, that, that's, called a, uh, that's called a feedback, which means that you fail, right? Now you're done school, that's why there's a structure, you have to show up to school. Now the next is now you're at work, you go to work, right? Try, going, try not showing up to work for three days and you don't tell your boss. What happens typically? <laughs> uh, you know they'll fire you, right? If you're if you're if you're if your boss is nice, give you a warning, and uh, you know do it again. Don't show up for three days. What happens? You're gonna get fired. Right? It's called a structure. There's a mm -hmm. feedback to tell you. The problem when you become an entrepreneur is that you're now the CEO of your own business. You know you wear you wear the hat of the CEO. You're the owner, right? Now you know we tell you a guideline. You know, ten to fifteen hours per week, you gotta show up and do your work. Now. When there's a boss, when there's a teacher, it's so easy to follow. Mm -hmm. right? But when you become the boss of yourself, sometimes it's so hard to boss yourself, you know, because yeah. life happens, right? Can you still put two to three hours per day to learn in your training site when life happens, when there's Netflix, when there's dishes to wash, right? Mm -hmm. Can you do it? And I, from my experience of mentoring a lot of people, it's so hard to do it, right? And, and because you got to have self-discipline. So first challenge is can you do the work as the CEO of your own business now, right? Consistently, day in, day out, right? Because it's a guideline, it's not a, there's no consequence yeah. now, right? If you, if you don't do it, that's the first. And second is really patience because anything worthwhile, anything good in life, it takes time. And a lot of people, it, because it's not set properly, you know, it's not like school, we tell you, it takes four years of your life to graduate, right? Yeah. It, it's not set properly and people like, we say it's not get rich, but if you don't if you don't earn money the first month it doesn't work well it doesn't work that way right you, you, the feedback in business and in in business school is, is not your diploma the feedback is the result right mm -hmm. if you don't get the result yet then it means that you probably haven't graduated right and that's that's for me the challenging thing especially with mentoring people and for us because we've tried a lot of business we knew that we got to stick to this until we get the job done right? yeah and also on top of that like being patient and you know um for us as well, like the challenges is really like learning new skills. Like yeah. it's a technology, right? It, I think our expectations, the expectations of people starting here and even us as well before, like we get frustrated if we don't know how to do things, right? Um, in here, you know, we, we get to learn, you know, about advertising. We get to learn, you know, Facebook or YouTube or, you know, doing this, go live, right? Videos. But you have to be you have to know that it's a brand new thing that you're learning so you have to commit you know aside from putting time you have to make sure that you know what i'm learning new things you can't be like you can't expect yourself to become a, a great you know digital marketer if if it's your first time right so yeah. i think you know investing that time in your learning i think that's the challenge our yeah. challenge before and as then, well. and, then, and, and the second question is how did we overcome those it's simple yeah. you got a massive why you know if you're yeah. if your why is something that oh you know if i want to make money if i make money it's yeah. okay right and here's the problem with most people when they do a business like it's like a side thing you know like uh if i make a little bit of income that's fine but if you make it massive enough mm -hmm. that's the only reason why you finish something that you start right and i, I give this kind of a an analogy to people what if i give you a mission and that mission is to climb mount everest now think about that that's already hard right i mean this is that biggest mountain in the world but Let's say we give you uh, all the money in the world, all the time off, even a guy to go up there. Mm -hmm. Now, it's still hard because this is Mount Everest. If yeah. your only goal to get up there is to take a selfie, right? <laughs> right? When, when it's cold, when you're frustrated, when you're freezing, then you're going to go home because it's not worth it. What if, we, what if we change the script? The people waiting out there are your kids, right? And the only way to bring them down is to get up there. Yeah. We agree with me that it doesn't matter how hard it is, how cold you are you are going to get to the top, right? Mm -hmm. If you have that type of mentality in this business, when you get to the top of your financial mountain, it's so different up there because you can fire your boss, you can pay up all your debts, right? You can change your next generation. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you have that mentality, and some people don't, they just like, oh, it's a side thing. No, it isn't. It's going to change your life, right? So. Mm -hmm. Well, those are very good points, um, Dave. <laughs>
and Roxanne, really, thank you. I mean, I've, I've been writing down notes. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I agree. I guess the bigger your why is, the more driven you are. Yeah. And I agree, if your why isn't that strong enough, you you tend to be pulled back by, I guess, any doubts, any um, anything that comes along the way, any obstacle can easily just make you stop and make want to quit. But if your why is strong enough, you won't you won't just stop. You you yeah. might probably find a detour, a yeah. way to get there, but mm. you're still gonna get there one way or the other. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. The, in, in relation to the second question, this is actually very much related to the second one. How did you stay motivated and on track of your goals in addition yeah. to knowing your why, your big why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, it starts with a why, but then, you know, you have the daily thing, right? So um, really, the problem with people is they have a why, but they forget about it, right? And that's the thing, right? So I always tell people, right, you know, it, it's not the, the, the big destination, it's the daily things, right? Can you yeah. drive yourself? Can you remind yourself? So you need to have daily reminders. And I tell people, vision board is good, but you have to look at it every day for your why. You have to have reminders. We have it on our phone, right? We know exactly our our, 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 our cover. It's not some sort of emoji or whatever. No, it's our vision board. Because you're reminded day in, day out why you're doing this. And you have to create daily habits and routines that you are serious in getting to that goal. And that's what keeps us motivated and on track every day because I, I we, we did vision boards before, but it's a dusty board. You know, it's like you do it one time <laughs> yes. and it's like on the side, right? But if you're not like hyper focused on what you're doing, like people finish school because because people we have we have been marketed all our lives by our parents that if you finish school, it's gonna change your life. And that's been told us yeah, yeah no, so because people it's price and promise, people will pay the price if there's a promise. And that was a promise sold to us for the longest time. And you know, it, it was kind of true. But not really, right? Um, and, and because it's all the time, it's repetition. And how do you yeah. stay on track? You have to look at it every day. Your goals. You have to have reminders. You have to have daily routines. Because if it's just something like, oh yeah, I'm gonna try to do this vision board, it doesn't work, right? So it, it is something you need to focus and be serious at, right? And also, just to add on that, is really for us, we have small goals because like, yeah. um, our main goal, our our big why, is really to help our parents retire, right? Um, meaning to say, we have to have a lot of investments for us to give, you know, give money to our parents, right? So that's our biggest why. But then how do you go there, right? So we have like, you know, small things that we reward ourselves. For example, you know, if we have a vacation to go to, we save up for that. If we have like a car that we want to save up for, we have like pay small, debts. yeah, pay off debt. So in the beginning, boss. yeah, in the <laughs> beginning, yeah, we have small, like big small <laughs> things that, okay, we're working towards this, right? On the like we're we're done on this one so because what happens is that it's like you know um it's like a vacuum right if yeah. if 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 you know where the money will go then the money will come most yeah. people doesn't know what to how Marvel. to you know how to spend the money you know if if you know people will like will say oh i want to make this much money hundred thousand but do you know where yeah. the money will go right so for us we always have a goal small goals every single yeah. month every single day every single quarter right even this year we yeah. have you know a goal of paying off the home things like that like that will keep us um on track you know like of course daily visualization daily reminders every single day that way whatever happens so for example if our advertising is not working or you know we're not feeling good then we actually get back up and say this is just part of the journey this is just part of the journey mm -hmm. and we keep going because people like get sidetracked and say this is not working because yeah. blah, blah blah but then hey you know what you you committed to this two years or five years give it five years right and this is why you're doing it so for us that's how we keep yeah. you know motivate ourselves every single day thank you thank you so much for those words i mean i like the idea of the small goals because every time you achieve a small goal mm -hmm. that gets i think kind of gives us a sense of achievement Yes. and want us to want some more and yeah. then slowly till we get that bigger goal that you wanted or the bigger why mm -hmm. and i can't tell you enough how many times probably i've gotten frustrated <laughs> since i started but i i chose not to give up I, yeah. I i always have to just pull myself back out and i agree with the vision board 
I did create the vision board, but how long ago since I'd looked at it? Yeah. Like, well, we're the same. I mean, that uh, is normal. Yeah. Normal. I mean, right now, as we speak, I'm looking at my vision board. It's my phone, right? So it's really important. Also, and you're right, you, frustration. And people need to know that when you start something, like uh, you got to know what you're getting into, right? For example, right? If you're a boxer, you know you're going to get hit, mm -hmm. right? That's part of it, right? If you, if you don't want to get hit, then don't be a boxer, right? So if you want to become an entrepreneur, successful entrepreneur, know that it's not a straight line, right? There are mm -hmm. things yeah. that you're going to be frustrated. And school is very clear because they tell you all this if you fail. But with, with business, like, it's almost like you're trailblazing because this is your yeah. kind of first time, right? So when you blaze a trail, you don't really, I mean, there's there, but you could go this, 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 or you could go that, that, turn around and that, but, but it's, but when you know how to get there, you can only really point the dots looking backwards, not mm -hmm. forward, right? And that's even as for us, like, how did you guys do this in two years? Yeah. We can only point the dots going backwards, not forward, because, you know, there were nights we weren't sleeping to do the, you know, to do the training. There are nights that were thing, you know, that the thing didn't work. But we just kept going because we knew if we kept moving forward, we're going to get there, right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that that's very good. Thank you so much for um, yeah sharing that. Oh my God, I I'm still speechless talking to you. Guys. <laughs> I had so much in mind, like I wanted to add to, but but here go. I'm gonna bring you the next question, which is very exciting because now it's gonna allow us to hear from you guys. What are mm -hmm. your successes since becoming digital business owners? I know you much you're slowly working towards your goal and probably have achieved it already or and much more what are your successes since the beginning of uh, you becoming digital business owners yeah so first of all i just want to tell all your viewers that are tuning in that uh wherever they came from that's where we came from you know when we started two years ago we were in eighty six thousand dollars in consumer debt we were in a good place i mean that's that that is rampant in north america mm -hmm. you know i mean like uh you know i couldn't sleep at night because credit cards are maxed you know yeah. car loans right you know all that that's that's called normal. People live a normal life, right? You know, nine to five, pay, pay it up. That we were, we were there, and we said, we're that's. We said, this is it. We drew the line. Is it no normal anymore, right? Um, and you know, we we worked, and so our one of the biggest successes is that um, we paid off eighty six thousand dollars in consumer debt. And we wow. that that's that's a place called financial peace. When you don't owe nobody nothing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's it's a different thing. The air, the you know the the air smells different. Right? <laughs> you know the the sun shines brighter for some reason. Your smile is much bigger for some reason. Your jump is a bit higher. Why? Because you can sleep good at night. Right? There's no somebody lurking. So for me, that's one of the biggest kind of first incremental massive big goal. Right. So um, the other one is um, basically you know we were able to of course save up for our home. We just recently. Uh, moved to our yeah. new home. Um, Congratulations! Thank you. And we 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 used to live in a in a two bedroom apartment. Now we live in a four bedroom home. It's a it's a house, the big house for us. And um, also, um, of course, you you need to have furniture, and the furniture is really expensive. So we're able to save cash on that one. We we bought a car. Um, it's 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 a second hand car, but it's all cash as well. Mm -hmm. uh, paid for as well, and also. You know, um, I think um, one of the joys that I have is to see my husband, you know, enjoying his work because he, he was stressed out. Like, even though yeah. he's a general manager before, um, he's, 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 he's basically earning great money as a general manager, but he's stressed out. And now he's full time on this. Online I mean, business. Yeah. And a lot of people can relate to that. I mean, they make good money, but I mean, they're just doing it because of the, yeah. because they need to pay the bills. They don't, they're not yeah. really happy. In yeah. fact, some of them can't sleep at night because. You know we're gonna go back to this job again where it's so stressful and right? so yeah. that was incredible and for me one of the biggest successes is that i had this affirmation and goal that when roxanne gets pregnant uh, i will be there every single step of, step of the way yeah. right so every oh. person, every doctor's appointment except for two times because they wouldn't allow me in because of covid <laughs> i still tried to sell myself to go in <laughs> and there's only one person right um but just the, the flexibility and designing your life that you can be there yes you know, morning walks now because for her pregnancy i'm there i mean it's incredible what what, what uh, two years can do just a short period of time i mean yeah. i worked i went to engineering school for four years but two years wow i mean incredible yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so yeah that it's we're so grateful to god because we prayed for this solution right um 
You know, I remember praying to God to give us, you know, um, heal our finances, give us a solution. And, you know, when you pray, be prepared that God will answer it, but you have to take the action, right? So here yeah. we are and, you know, the rest is history and we're so good. Yeah, and I forgot to say the biggest thing for us is ministry too because we, oh, yeah. we're big in ministry and, uh, you know, before, because we've been serving for, for a while and our kind of fantasy was that the minister needed something instead of raising the funds that we could just, you know, provide it, right? Provide it. <laughs> yeah. 2019, we had a chance to do that because before the pandemic, the church wanted to send eight young people uh, to a conference in in, uh, in San California, Diego. San Diego, California. They could only afford six, and with the help of this business, we're able to you know, pay for two of the young you know young people's flight. And again, we couldn't have done that with our old job because we, it was oh, yeah. just enough to pay for our business rates. So, yeah. Well, no wonder you guys are so blessed. <laughs> um, I always believe what you give out to the universe, it gives back yeah. up to you in multiples. Yeah. yeah sure. When you start sharing your blessings and the, these mm. blessings just come back to you. Mm. And I am so happy to have met you even just online. I just feel mm -hmm. so blessed already just meeting you guys. Mm. Um, yeah, it's so much achievement for the span of two years. I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'll be able to yes. hopefully get as close as to what your achievement oh, yeah. are. Yes. <laughs> Uh, thank you, and I'll pray for that. Yes. All right, and the next one would be, this is something more that I will really be writing more about. I want to hear straight from you guys. What advice, tips, success habits you can share to those new to the business or to those um, who had been in the business, had been having a little bit of difficulty that despite their efforts are finding it hard to see results yet? Either in, let's do this general, even even if they're not online, the digital business or be in other mm -hmm. areas of their life. So what can you tell and share us about tips, success habits that you think will benefit us too? Yeah. So first of all, I just want to encourage people that to don't give up um, because when you really listen to successful people, like people want the glory, but they don't really know the story. What's the real yeah. story? I mean, Roxanne and I, two years, wow, incredible. But that's not, it's yes, two years, but it's 10 years in the making. And if you follow us on our, if you follow us on our, on our page, right? A lot of people know that we failed in a lot of businesses, right? In fact, to be specific, 24 businesses is when we failed. Wow. So, I mean, we, we, we kept trying, we kept failing, you know? People would have give up, given up already if they yes. were in our shoes, but we didn't, right? But here's the, the philosophy I've learned, right? And this is when we said we, we never lose because for most people, either they win or they lose. So we start a business, we don't lose. But one philosophy I've learned is that you don't really win or lose. If you mm -hmm. change, if you reframe it, win or learn. So if you win or learn, you never lose. So yeah. every time we fail in a business, as long as you pick up the lesson and you move yeah. to the next one, right? You're really a much better person. And for us, the reason why we took off very quickly is because we've already done personal development for the last 10 years, right? Yeah, and, and really like, um, because the, 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 I think people will have to really invest in themselves, right? Like growth on themselves. Because for me, when I first started, like, you know, 10 years ago, when I met my husband, I was a really negative person. Yeah. Um, you know, I was probably a depressed person. Like I'm not a, a positive, um, vibrant person. You know, I was not confident at all, right? I always compare myself to others. So, you know, like I always look at what's wrong with me. I was insecure, right? But because of the personal development, you know, I we kept reading books. We, I kept journaling. I kept focusing on the gratitude, the things. I became a different person. So even though we failed on those other businesses, like some of the business that we've done, we also succeed. But then it, it failed us later on, right? Mm. We spent two years on some of the business. Some of them are like only months. Some of them are only like you know, weeks because we, we, it didn't work. Right. Um, we got scammed as well, but then I give my husband honor because for me, I almost gave up. Right. I almost say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a good employee. I'll settle. I'll just climb up the, the ladder. You know, my dreams probably just to help my parents is, you know, maybe I can give here and there, but you know, but I, I know deep inside that there is something there, but uh, all throughout those years, we never gave up on, you know, on, on honing our skills, on, you know, praying. We became more closer to God. We, you know, I think really being patient throughout this time and not giving up perseverance um, that things can get better, yeah. right? So. You know, we, um, 
when, when, when preparation meets opportunity, that's when success happens, right? I remember when we were in the Philippines, because I, I always have this habit when there's a successful, a successful person, I, ask, I always ask them what's the secret. So I met, we met this guy, he's a billionaire in the Philippines. He owns, a, he owns the, the largest stock trading platform in the Philippines called Financial. And uh -huh. uh, we sat down with him and says, what's the His secret? Name His name is Edward Lee. And I said, what's the secret? He said, just give it time. Mm -hmm. Just give it time. Why? Because most people don't have that, don't have the, 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 the pers persistence and perseverance to stay that long, right? I mean, he said, we started with 50,000 pesos, right? That's over 40 years ago. It has compounded over time. That's now it's worth a billion, right? Wow. Yeah. People don't have the stamina, yeah. right? Just to stay, right? For us, you know, two years, yes. But because all those transferable skills are here. So for the people that are, are tuning in, the tip is keep doing your personal development. Keep, keep growing because, you know, this is not like an overnight thing, right? You know, yeah. you're looking at, two to four years, you know, uh, even longer. Do it, you do it, uh, you know, do it until you get the job done, right? Yeah, because I remember if you see our page, um, our page, Dave and Roxana Biso page, it's been around since 2014. Mm. And mm. yeah, 2014, and we have no business at the time. We're we just, just want just we just videos. want to do videos because we're learning. We want to inspire people. <laughs> yeah, and then we're like, and then no one is watching. And yeah. I, I remember Dave was like, let's let's not do it in our in your in our page do it in your personal page because there's more there's more people there's more people there people are reacting and we almost gave up i think our traction on the business page only started like a year ago or two years ago. ago and that's why like you know if there's no likes don't be discouraged it's right part so of it. it's part of it like we just like keep doing it and and if we look at like three years ago four years ago i don't know how to i'm not confident i they will say something and i will say yeah yeah <laughs> so it's really you evolve as a person mm -hmm. so you know for for your viewers you know like as long as you're improving every single day you commit to you know little things that will improve improve yeah, you know, I, I remember there was a, there was one of the turning points in in, in our in my in our, in our business journey i think i was about 35 or 36 yet another business that i failed i went to my sister i was gonna approach her to show her another business and she told me, she says, Dave, how old are you? I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm about 36 or 37. She's like, well, why are you still still doing this? Why don't you just go back? Because I quit my job completely uh, as an engineer. Why don't you just go back as engineering or do something, right? That yeah. will, you know, that will, you know, allow you to have full-time income. I'm like, why are you all doing the side uh, business things? And that really pierced my heart. But you know what? That's part of the journey, mm -hmm. right? I mean, Colonel, if you guys know who Colonel Sanders is, Colonel Sanders knock on 1,009 businesses in North America. 1,009, right? I mean, 100, 200, 300. Like, you're crazy. Why would I buy buy your chicken recipe when, yeah. when I have yours? KFC, Colonel Sanders, right? Imagine if you quit in 1,008, right? 1,009, the recipe. You wouldn't have had KFC. KFC, yeah. right? I mean, uh, uh, um, Henry Ford was bankrupt five times. Five. Can you imagine the third time he goes back to his investors and says, Hey, you know what? Uh, this time it will work. I need your money again, right? Bankrupt again the fourth time, right? There wouldn't be like Ford Motor Company today. And that is the journey of entrepreneur. Like the difference between an, a, an employee and entrepreneur is that, you know, you pave the way first, right? Mm -hmm. So that employee is complaining they're getting paid 1530, but you take all the risk first, right? Mm -hmm. But your life changes and the rest of your family life changes. But if we could stick to it, like the, the in, in business, right? The two year room, is so different than the six month room. The four year room is so different because four years from now, if you're still here mm -hmm. in this online business, right? You could be six earning six figures. You could be quitting your job already. Yeah. What about the 10 year room? The 10 year room? Oh my, it's like, if you're still here 10 years from now, like now you could be changing people's lives. And you know, you've seen people in our online business that's been here for four years, yeah. right? You, it's so different, right? It's so different than the one year room. In the two year, because you'll see some people will not be here anymore. Some people, will, you know, but if you stay, your life will change. Uh, we're so fired up. I think we're, we're going on and on. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It, it, thank you. Those are really good inputs. And I love it because I myself recently just got into personal personality development. And um, now I'm loving it. And I've made it a point now that because I now I love to read books. And now I've, I, I actually got 
Hal Elrond even gave me a, a personal signed autograph book. Nice, of, amazing. Wow. Oh my God. I, I mean, I'm like so happy when he gave me that. And then like, and it just went on and on. And I, I already like books before. I love reading books. I love audiobooks. I have actually a ton of books in my audible, audible library because I listen to it driving to and from work. But it wasn't until recently that I felt like what I learned, I had to share. Mm -hmm. And it made me feel good. And people, I'm, I'm not, I'm now doing some kind of daily lives on my page. Nice, nice. And, yeah. and they're asking me, where do you find the time? I said, I just read the book at night. Yeah, part yeah. Of the book, and yeah. in the morning, I just shared online That's live what I've read the night before. It's nothing extra on my part to do. The only extra is now I'm sharing what I've yeah. learned and I feel yeah. good because now I'm retaining that. And I think that's one thing that's keeping me um, just moving forward in this business. Yeah, that's wow. really good. I think I'm a long ways from my biggest goal yet, but I, I'm, I don't see myself quitting. And I love seeing you both. I, oh my God, when you said, when you mentioned your 2021 goals, um, aim for the stars, and if you yeah. need to just reach the moon, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, I gotta do that. Mm -hmm. I gotta aim big. But then again, even if I don't get up there, yeah. whatever I, I I reach is fine because because it's still a step up. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. I I Thank I you. just can't wait to talk to you more <laughs> and hopefully to keep in touch with you more and help okay. me more and like us. And then maybe, hopefully, one day I'll ask you guys what's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think that is um, the last of the questions that we had. I'm just going to remind everybody, today is Thursday again. Um, yeah. Anybody who's interested in, um, in our complimentary webinar, please register. I put down your web page there to Dave and Roxanne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. guys, check this out. This has changed thousands of lives. Dave and Roxanne are living testimonials of the success that this business can bring us. Um, I'm here in the business, not for the short term, but for the long run. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to stay. And hopefully you guys can find the same value that we do find in this business. Well, thank you so much, Dave and Roxanne. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've shared such valuable information and hopefully I can just chit chat with you a little bit more off screen if you don't mind. But if, if you don't have much time, I, I will completely understand. Sure. Well, awesome. Thank you. I'm just gonna quickly flash on the screen. Okay, we got a lot of people that been, that's been watching us. Um, hi, Maria from New York. Um, Janice and Joseph Pasqua. Uh, hello, and they're from California. We've got Cora from um, Alberta, and Lloyd from Jamaica is watching. <laughs> I've got Cecil, that's my coach and mentor. Hi, Cecil, watching from Edmonton. And then Liz is also watching from Winnipeg. Well, thank you guys for watching, and thank you once again, Dave and Roxanne. Yes, um, See you later. And I can't wait to see the little weasel. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Concepcion. Thank so Thanks, everyone. Day. Have a great Thank day. Thank you. Bye-bye.